always try to be safe in every situation that you're dealing with an angry person. Now, knowing your boundaries and sticking to them will help you know when it's time to remove yourself from a potential, potentially harmful situation. If or when you feel threatened in any way, it may be time to, to leave that, that scene and uh, try to uh, care for your own safety. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's world, there is a lot of there are a lot of things that are going on, and um, it's so easy for different opinions to arouse certain feelings and emotions in people. And in this case, um, I'll spe I'll be specific and. Uh, I will say anger is anger is one of the uh, most common feelings that uh, most of the current things that are going on in the world may evoke in us and uh, you see even in our different kind of settings and uh, different types of conversations we have every day there are situations or circumstances where people will tell you things that won't sit well with you and uh, these things might make you angry and uh, or you yourself you might make another person very angry so it will depend sometimes uh, it might not be your fault that they get angry it might just be something that uh, is bothering them and makes them feel a certain type of way. So when you find yourself in this kind of situation where you're dealing with someone who is angry, how would you go about handling them and making sure that uh, that specific issue, circumstance or situation doesn't turn into uh, a brawl or a big thing that uh, Will interfere with the way you relate so um, I have some few tips here with me that you can use and uh, when you're dealing with these people who are angry remember that it can be difficult to know how to react in a way that won't escalate the situation and make it worse so um, to the first tip uh, on how to deal with an angry person <coughs> i would um, suggest that you respond rather than react when someone else's behavior is heightened uh, it can be easy to jump to the defensive we may quickly and perhaps harshly react rather than take a moment to consider our response while it can be hard listening remaining calm and keeping your replies measured can help you get through what can be a stressful situation. Try to avoid becoming angry or agitated during the interaction. Instead, try to respond with empathy and care. This, this will show um, the person that you hear what they are saying, understand their point of view and reaffirm that their feelings are valid. So. In many situations, you always react rather than respond to anger outbursts from people or um, when we get offended, we always tend to re react rather than respond. Uh, the difference here is that when you are responding, it means that you do what? You take your time to listen and keep your, keep your calm and what? Measure the kind of um, words that you're going to speak out after the anger outburst of the, of the other person. So it makes it easier for the situation to be solved easily or maybe amicably. 
So remember always not to react. Reacting is when you start shouting, you start getting angry as well and uh, uh, speaking in a way that you almost, you're almost frothing in the, at the corners of your mouth because someone is angry and they're doing something that you are not aware of or maybe you are not very comfortable with that um, maybe makes you uncomfortable. No, there is no uh, anger situation that will not make you uncomfortable. So the things, the, the key three things are to listen, remain calm and measure your, measure your feedback or your response. And that's how you respond and not react to an angry person. Now, to the second tip, um, it is easy for us to always look at things as if it is a personal attack on us. But when you're dealing, when you're dealing with an angry person, always remember not to take anything personally. So that's the second tip. Remember not to take things personally. While you may feel uh, like you are receiving the brunt of someone's outburst, it may not even be about you. Always remember that. Anger can be triggered by a current situation or rooted in something else that maybe you are not even party to or familiar to. Now, the person's anger may result from something another person said earlier, a, a stressful presentation at work, uh, something maybe that someone said to him sometimes back that reminds him, that what you've said reminds him of, something like that, or maybe just the need to assert uh, maybe authority or something like that. But also remember that it could just be a simple thing like someone having a rough day, uh, maybe at work or at home or with the situations that they are in or circumstances that they are, they are uh, uh, maybe going through. So there was a study that was done back in 2012 and uh, it suggested that people are less upset by a situation when they know that they are not the cause of someone else's anger. This can help you remain calm and avoid becoming agitated to more easily handle the other person's behavior. So always remember not to uh, be upset with this uh, people's reaction, knowing that they're angry, it might never be really about you. So remember to uh, also invoke the first tip in this second uh, second tip. Now to the third tip, always try to create distractions. A distraction can sometimes be exactly what, what's needed to stop someone in their anger, uh, anger spree, or maybe we could say angry tracks. Distracting, someone's, uh, <laughs> distracting someone expressing anger or upset may interrupt their tirade and uh, give their feelings a chance to pause. This allows them to step outside of their anger and potentially reflect on their behavior. Now, um, providing a way for the person to shift focus can allow them to shift their focus to dealing with their anger rather than resting in it. Uh, I want to use an example of, uh, let's say, a baby who is crying for your phone. They want to take your phone and uh, maybe uh, play games or maybe watch something. And then, uh, in that process, because they are so focused on your phone, you try and uh, maybe unveil a toy, that their favorite toy that they always uh, spend most of their time with, or just uh, instead of, if you don't have the toy, let's say you try and uh, engage them in some kind of banter. So, um, maybe tickles, things like that. And you'll find that at that moment, they'll be distracted and they won't be thinking about the, the phone for some time. 
So if this continues for a while, they might eventually maybe turn back to their TV or uh, run out and go play. So this is the same concept with uh, people who are angry. You could always use, create a distraction and they will be able to at least divert their attention from what they were uh, focusing on that was bringing all these problems. So, uh, like I was saying before, providing a way for the person to shift focus and allow them to shift uh, their focus to dealing with their anger rather than uh, resist, resting in, in the same anger. So when using distractions, uh, try to be mindful of interrupting the person or uh, invalidating their feelings. This strategy is a way to help them reset and refocus and it's not meant to make them feel as though their anger doesn't matter or it's not uh, justified. So um, when we're doing all this, we are um, mostly trying, as much as we are trying to uh, make them not focus so much on the anger, we are also trying to help them not feel like we don't get where they're coming from. Help them know that their concerns are uh, understood, valid, and their feelings are also valid so that they don't uh, also use that as a means to get more angry and uh, maybe interfere with the whole communication. So having looked at that, the main, um, the main, we said that the main goal here is to try and de-escalate the situation. So always remember that as well. Um, to the fourth tip, try to find solutions. Because for someone to get angry, it means that something is off a little bit. So <clears throat> all in all, after all this anger and everything, there will always, there will always be a need for solutions. So look for solution. That's the fourth tip. And this thing, this is supposed to be done together. So just um, to ex uh, maybe to expound a bit, when someone is angry, you may feel the need to find a way to resolve what's causing them so much ag agitation. Now, one way to help is by offering up solutions. Not sure how to best solve uh, what's upsetting them, don't be afraid to ask them. If you're not so sure, don't hesitate to, to ask them. I know it will be, sometimes it might sound a little difficult because at that point they are very angry and some people might not be reasonable or maybe most of us might not be reasonable in that particular time. So if you're not sure how to help find solutions, always try to ask. Do not be afraid because some may understand. Now gently stop the person and ask how you can help them feel less angry. Once you know what they need, you can work with them to develop positive and proactive solutions. This can also help uh, ease their anger and create calm by shifting their attention from negative feelings to positive feelings. Yeah, so these are uh, very important points to remember. And uh, maybe to the fifth uh, um, tip, most of the time, um, if you look at all the aspects of anger and everything, you always find that sometimes people get us to that point or we get people to that point of anger because of lack of something we call boundaries. Now, um, I think this is mostly, this is the best way to avoid and as well to deal with angry people or uh, to deal with someone who has anger. Always set boundaries. That's the fifth tip. Boundaries are important. Whether you are a person who feels uh, deeply or it takes a lot to rattle you, setting boundaries can be crucial to maintaining mental and emotional balance. 
before you are um, faced with managing someone else's feelings, try, try to also establish your what? Your limits. You can do this by deciding what behaviors are too much to handle and understanding how to recognize the signs of aggression or danger. Now, only about 10% of one experiences lead to aggression. That is something that has been studied. So, do not assume that um, just because the statistics say 10%, only 10% of those anger experiences lead to aggression. So you are safe for something. Always try to be safe in every situation that you are dealing with an angry person. Now, knowing your boundaries and sticking to them will help you know when it's time to remove yourself from a potential, potentially harmful situation. If or when you feel threatened in any way, it may be time to, to leave that, that scene and uh, try to uh, care for your own safety. Now, as much as we are looking at tips of, on how to deal with uh, uh, these situations, we also need to remind ourselves the things that we are not supposed to say when dealing with someone who is angry. So, um, one of those things, one of the things that uh, you're not supposed to say is, one of the things that you're not supposed to say or do is uh, to use accusatory statements. Now, try not to lay blame on the person or use use statements as you are being difficult or this is your fault, you're always like this, blah, blah, blah. All this can make the person feel defensive, which can fuel their anger. Instead, try to use I statements to show the person that their anger affects you in this and that way, such as, I want to help you, or I feel scared. Uh, could you please um, let me know how best I can go about whatever is making you angry and such kind of stuff. The second thing uh, not to say or do is ignoring or invalidating uh, the angry person's feelings. Anger is a natural emotion. By acknowledging how the person feels, we are validating their feelings and showing them that you understand uh, what they are feeling or uh, what's going on in whatever situation it is. Now, ignoring their feelings may only agitate them further and make the situation worse rather than making it uh, better. The third and the last um, thing not to do or not to say in situations like this is uh, getting angry or defensive. Responding in anger might simply make them more upset and leave you feeling angry. Instead, try to manage your emotions and remain calm. If you find yourself becoming agitated, consider excusing yourself. Uh, there's no one who has ever died by excusing themselves from um, an anger spurt or a war of words or something like that. It doesn't mean that you're weak. It means that um, you're trying to keep the peace and you can always go back and handle these situations later when things are calm. So. Whenever you feel, whenever you find yourself becoming more agitated and someone else is already angry, consider excusing yourself from the situation and take a moment to yourself to reflect on the whole situation. It might um, work better than trying to continue talking or defending yourself or um, trying to find justifications for this and that doesn't help. So just to maybe bring everything into perspective, everyone experiences anger, but while experiencing our anger is one thing, it can be quite different to cope with someone else's anger. 
I know it's difficult because sometimes you look at the whole situation and look at uh, how someone is reacting, the kind of anger that's coming out and all that. And sometimes you won't be able to understand all that. So when dealing with an angry person, it can be easy to let ourselves get agitated and respond with anger or an upset tone. Uh, but remaining calm, looking for solutions and setting boundaries can help manage the other person's anger rather than fuel it or add fuel to it. See, um, they, only, they, they always say that uh, anger only uh, spurs more anger. So whatever it is, whatever the situation that's bringing all this, always remember, check, all these uh, aspects that we've been talking about. Um, also look on the tone so that you don't uh, you don't end up stirring things up and making everything else difficult. So if you find yourself facing a person whose anger won't subside or who's becoming volatile, it may be time to remove yourself from the situation. Just remember that. Though most expressions of anger don't turn into aggression, your safety is very important. Remember that. Protect yourself and walk away if you feel unsafe in any way. Because anger knows no boundaries. Anger knows no... Uh, it can't determine strength. It can't determine the consequences until it happens. So... People might be blinded by anger and do despicable things that they might end up regretting later. But for your own safety and for your own good, always remind yourself that you are the one on the same end in this particular time, particular moment when someone else is angry. Remember that you are, uh, the way they tell people that you are the only sane driver in the streets, do not wait for someone else to follow the traffic rules for you to be safe in your car. It's the same way that you should always remember that you are the best um, that you are at that particular time and you're the only reasonable person in that particular situation so that you don't end up doing something, saying something or reacting in a way or responding in a way that will make everything that you've been trying to uh, maybe de-escalate actually escalate or become even worse. So I hope you remember uh, these five tips that I've shared with you. If you find uh, this video helpful or if you know someone who might need this information you could feel free to share the video and um, also suggest uh, what you feel uh, we can handle especially in regards to anger and um, feel free to share feel free to like feel free to subscribe if you haven't and uh, for those who have, for those who are coming back to watch this video from my subscribers list, I say thank you and uh, thank you for your support and continue supporting this channel so that we could, we can continue giving you more content on mental health. And uh, bye bye. See you next time in the next one. Thank you and adios.